I mentioned in my advertising that I spoke to JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley and ADP about what sellers should do. What should they do? What should they not do? Please tell me. Um, they sent me completely different stories, but I'll tell you that all of them boiled down to one thing, and that is trust. It didn't boil down to technology. Their answers did not boil down to price, which we always think is so important. But really what they gave me were stories of trust, right? So there was a story of when 9-11 hit and a storage array had to be delivered to a data center. And there was, a, there was a gentleman who was out in New Jersey who had a storage array at home. He threw it in his trunk. He drove it over to Manhattan and had the thing installed himself. Showed that he was trustworthy. There was also another story of a gentleman who was supposed to deliver servers to a delivery dock. The servers were not getting delivered. What? If you've dealt with delivery docks, probably not a shock to you. You always have to be there certain times, certain days, certain hours. Um, so in that case, the, the seller then spoke to the customer and said, look, I know I promised you would be delivered today. I am sorry, Mr. Customer is not getting delivered today. We're going to have it to 8 a.m. square on Monday. Again, so these are personality traits. One of the best global account managers I ever worked with, Ann Teal, um, what she would say, so she would be assigned to accounts that had, let's call it a red or yellow amber status with the customer before, and she would be assigned to change this account around. And one of the things Ann Teal would say is, not on my watch. So maybe the previous account manager has done things that were not acceptable to you. Not on my watch. It's not happening with this team, not while I'm assigned to this account. That's really the number one a trait that I heard from the customers saying, you know, I, when I told them I'm gonna be training sellers, this is what they asked me to relate to you. 